a little bit more artwork for the garage. Um, well, artwork. It's uh, motorsport from 1977. Yes, it was my dad's. I picked it up when I went back to uh, to Wales recently. And there's the other side of it. Welcome back to the stratosphere. Well, I suppose I really should look at that speedo, right? Now that everything else seems to have settled down a little. Had some friends over on Saturday. Keen to see the Stratos. Uh, not so keen to try and get in it, but I persuaded him. And um, yes, he thought it was quite spectacular. Well, I found some clips that work uh, a little bit better. Uh, they're a little bit chunkier, as you can see. Uh, what I've also noticed is that this has come loose, this boy. Uh, so I'm going to have to lift this up and tighten it because there's obviously a nut on the other side. Anyway, meantime, um, this fits and is a lot, uh, a lot sturdier. I shall replace the one on the other side in due course when I can be bothered to uncover everything and get the tail up. And I should probably look at the speedo at the same time, shouldn't I? Hmm. Anyway. I've had some comments about um, sound on the driving videos and I quite agree. The uh, the engine note is lost on one of the cameras. So I have mounted this uh, GoPro mount on the back side here. And I say GoPro but what I mean is a mini DV cam um, because I use a couple uh, and actually I really like this one, the SJ cam, but that's the one I've been mounting on the outside of the vehicle which kind of doesn't pick up the sound very well, which is strange because it does when it's on the, the bikes that I take out. The GoPro I've been using internally, um, just because honestly it's a pain in the ass. It's supposed to talk to my phone. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And when all you want to do is get out in your car and drive it, it's very frustrating fiddling around with your phone to try and talk to a camera. So, um, yeah, I've only used that like once. The next time around, we'll be going with a two camera setup, hopefully. Uh, one on the rear there. Uh, not least because I'm a child and I want to see if there's any flames shooting out of the back. Because uh, there's lots of snap, crackle, and pop on the overrun. And I just, I'd love to know whether there's actually flames shooting out of the exhaust. So, that'll be something to look forward to. Hopefully, later in this video. Anyway, that's that sorted. It was a nut. And I've done the other side, obviously, while it's up. And now I'm going to have a look at uh, where to put this camera. Yes, I'm thinking something like that. Mm -hmm. Now we just have to get it to work. And well, while we're on the subject of video cameras, the exciting news is that Matt, yes, my co-driver, one of my co-drivers in the uh, Porsche racing team for the 24 Hours of Lemons, um, has one of those really fancy... Um, Things, drones, yes, that follows you. Mm, exciting, huh? Um, apparently it's only capable of 35 to 40 miles an hour, so that'll be quite boring for me. Uh, but hopefully it will, um, it will produce some exciting footage for you guys. Meantime, I eventually got the GoPro to start charging, so hopefully we better see if that camera angle's any good in a minute. Or 10. Or 50. And while we were looking at cameras, um, a very good friend of mine has given me this. It's a 360 degree camera. Uh, so I'll be trying that out next time we go out as well, hopefully. Uh, I don't know how the hell I'm going to mount it, but um, yeah, uh, Rico 360. Uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, my buddy Chris just turned up uh, with a wheel actually for the Honda and he's going to help me out with a bumper car and all that kind of malarkey. Um, and he'd never seen a Lancia Stratos before, he didn't even know what it was and he referred to it as a teeny weeny Lamborghini which I rather like. I do not fear, we will not be putting any polka dots on it. Well, little impromptu trip because um, I spotted a Cars and Coffee on the way back from taking the dogs for exercise. So, uh, no cameras on the car, we're just going to go check it out.
bit of an unexpected fun. Just tootling home now. Yes, another special visitor who uh, came to look at the car and obviously had to try it out for size. My friend Vivi. Anyway, enough of all this. Let's get to the car show and flag stuff. So a little bit of in-car stuff. Um, sadly, not that inspiring because we uh, we hit some traffic.
Well, the show was pretty good. Uh, lots of interesting cars there. I'm now stuck in a traffic jam on the canyon right now. Um, yeah, uh, lots of interest in the Stratos and obviously David's Renault 5 and the, uh, the Integrale. In fact, the, the Turbo 2 won the best European car, so that was pretty cool. Next up for the Stratos, I'm not really sure. Uh, probably the Sedona car show in October. It will hopefully be a little bit cooler by then. And still haven't fixed the Speedo. Um, so yeah. As usual, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. Other than that, remember to encourage others to watch my lunacy.